so today's guest for the interview is Dr. Bhavna Arora. Dr. Bhavna Arora has secured second rank in INI SSCT exam for gynecologic oncology. Many congratulations on this, Bhavna. Uh, this interview is basically for you to discuss with the juniors, the upcoming batch, the strategy that you use to prepare for INI SS exam and to secure this rank. So over to you, Bhavna. Hi, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me for the interview. Uh, so, uh, and thank you to ReproNeet. I would say that it actually helped me quite a lot in the preparation. So, I've done my MBBS from Lady Harding Medical College. Uh, I'm a batch of 2013. And I've done my MD in Ogden Gaini from Ames, New Delhi. I, I joined it in Jan 2019 batch gave my exam in December last year. So, post that exam, I was completing my post, uh, you know, I was preparing for the SR ship uh, exam for AIMS and there uh, my uh, senior, uh, I was asking her the recall questions of, you know, SR ship entrance and then she got her app open, uh, reported it and she told me a few questions. I said, then was the first time I got to know about the app and I asked her what is this and uh, Dr. Snigda, she she secured rank two as well in the DM entrance. So there, she told me that this is a very good app. You can you know uh, use it for even your entrance, uh, starship entrance questions, recalls. So I was looking for recalls for the exam. So there, I got to know about it and post that. Um, uh, I joined SRship and I was not initially eligible for the exam for the first entrance post PD. So, uh, in the mid year, when I started preparing for the mid year uh, INI SS and the NEET SS of that year, there I uh, joined the app. My main purpose of using the internet was to know the recall questions, basically, and the previous year questions because I would say, and uh, the thing is about general of the time, I just given my PG exam. So for that, I just wanted to prepare the questions, which was the, it was a very good resource. And for the oncology specific content, because I must tell you the videos you have made for oncology is absolutely American hacker, which is brilliant, I would say, because on days I'm too tired, post my duty, I just have to, I have to read that chapter on chemotherapy basics and radiotherapy basics. So rather than reading that chapter, I would play the video and it would just, and I would keep flipping the page of my book. And that's the best way to, you know, go through such bland topics. So um, that way I would say the gyne oncology videos are amazing to go through. And of course, all the recall. They are brilliantly compiled and very well segregated in the app. My main use was app. I could not, I did not attend the classes as such because the timing the was timing. not uh, uh, but the, the attendance in life class is very poor. The yeah. attendance in life class is very poor because yeah, all, the see that. all the students yes, are working. All the students are working. I usually hear you while you are teaching, you say, okay, there are two, three students. Or yes, three there are. Students now also, there are two like students, three students. Some, <laughs> sometimes there is only one and I tell them, if you are bored, you can leave and you can <laughs> attend the recorded videos. So, yes, this is uh, because uh, all of you are busy. Everyone is doing some residency somewhere. And, yeah. uh, wonderful. Yes. So, uh, when exactly did you start preparing for INISS? Was NEET SS on your mind? Or it was just I analysis from before. Because I, you know, would, I would say that uh, VTS is definitely on a second priority over I and I considering that I am a PG from Ames to Delhi itself. I wanted to come back and uh, need SS only only if I could not get through I and I. So my first I and I uh, I I was in the qualifying list. I did started preparing, like I would say initial one but or two. You months were not eligible for the first INI that you attempted. Yes, ma'am. The, the January 2022 one. I was you not eligible. You were not eligible, but you still qualified. You were in the top. No, no, no. I am talking about the qualification in the mid year, ma'am. The June okay. one. Okay. Yes. And uh, so I did started uh, preparing, I would say, uh, 
April this year. I would April say because started. yeah, initial senior residency was quite hectic, and then later, initially, first I took the crash, the short course that was there just for the questions. But uh, I could not. I was just eligible for the first, um, the mid year INIS. Uh, I was not through for the departmental assessment. So there, I thought that I should prepare well in advance. And later, I would say that uh, I got enrolled in the six month course that mm-hmm. just ended. I got the mail today morning that my <laughs> the yeah. subscription has ended. So that's how I started. I would say so. in June, I must have enrolled. Initially, I was too busy to use it, but ever since I gave the NEET test, I was very worried because then the time was very near for the upcoming INS test. From past three months, I would say I was seriously following the uh, exam questions and videos. And so, the last month was complete so, into it. Did you read NCCN and FIGO cancer updates? Did you read NCC? I did. Figo cancer update definitely. NCC and I would say that it is something that is uh, very vast. I don't know how much it is reproducible for the yes, exam. Very vast. Very Those vast. tables and are confusing. Those flowcharts are confusing. confusing. Yes. So I would rather use it since I get exposed to the oncology clinical, uh, you know, patients and. Uh, surgery so I would rather need it there in in my wards or it's more uh, for reference OT. like if you have a doubt yes. in MCQ if you yeah, have a doubt in patients to... you can open yes, NCC definitely. and you can find out the correct yes. answer to it you will definitely get an answer yes. which is correct and standard yes sir so definitely when I'm sitting in the oncology OPD and if I have to see whether the next step is to, should I send the patient for RT or should we go for the surgical mask? Things like that, it is better to use NCN. But for, for preparing for exam like this, uh, it is said that it, it should be right. But practically, I could not utilize yeah. it that much. Uh, yes. And uh, regarding the trials, there were quite a few questions on tri- trials. So uh, apart from NEET SS preparation, did you specifically read the trials? And if you did, where did you read them from? All right. So I did read a uh, trial. I would say I, uh, I, I found a book on Telegram on the compilation of trials of gyne oncology. Uh, I forgot the name of the author, very short book. So at least for the name trial, uh, like because they do ask it, they did ask that in the interview. The first question was that, explain us any one trial that you know of in mm-hmm. Dynasty. So this was a common so question. I asked. just. So with the yes, answer, with the question. question, this question was asked to her. Yes, yes. So, so uh, trials was the question. So, so the name trials usually is asked straight. Uh, as like, what is, like, this time they did ask about, each time they're asking about the bevacizumab trial in, you know, uh, in different settings. This time for a change, the options were in GOG pattern. Uh, yes, they used to was, ask a name trial. Uh, uh, yes, regarding, regarding that question, did you get that answer correct? Because it was just GOG and numbers written. I did, G-O-G. with a rule of. Yeah, because actually that, it, uh, I would say the clinical exposure the name helped me through that because uh, yes, uh, there's some disturbance. One I knew is of high tech because of one academic activity in my department. So that helped me rule out the option. I actually did it out of ruling out. You were telling about the high tech question. There was a pipe pack question or high tech question? Uh, no, no. <laughs> what I was telling you in that there was a pipe pack question that is like a straight which was, question. A repeat, which was a repeat. Uh, which, because I still remember you teaching it in your videos that the answer is well, but I don't know how to <laughs> explain it. Explain Somewhere it. from reference, I'd got the answer, but I'm not exposed to oncology <laughs> clinically, so I couldn't explain anything. I just knew that if this question comes, you have to mark 12. Yeah, that was. The- I ran in my head when I read that question. <laughs> <laughs> but I just know the answer is 12. I don't know from where it is. 
Okay, so in the last one month, I would say I am working for like six days, then I am getting one off. So all those six days, I would be free at seven p.m. or eight. So last then you are tired five hours. Also. Five hours of the day, every five day. Five hours almost. after getting free at seven o'clock. I would go straight to library after having a strong cup of coffee, and would you know try and just take a dinner break, and would read at least till twelve, and. Uh, on on days i've off on sundays i would read from morning that that last one needed that intense study for sure uh any tip that you would want to give to the upcoming batch the batch preparing for the next iniss exam i would say it is quite obvious that the recall uh, trend of aims is like everybody is familiar with it there are they usually ask the same yes it is predictable they ask the same set of questions yeah. rather than just yeah rather than just mugging the question you need to just understand the topic that they are trying to cover they do yes. cover topics around hpv vaccination a lot yes. they cover uh, questions around uh, you know these trials as we are discussing and things like that so you just need to understand the topics and first jot down the topics that they cover and make sure that you are going through the topics well because definitely do, they are doing the recall but i would say ma'am that this time compared to the previous iniss had more recalls than this one this one this had one. had a lot of fresh questions since i have given both so mm-hmm. i think they understand the trend that they are doing a lot of recalls so but the topics were definitely the same topics high same. yielding pools so, right. so just just go to the topic yeah. well and the same recalls will not be repeated and the same topic something else will be asked will be, will be asked yes uh, right so um, uh, i am uh, you know very happy to have known you uh, you are uh, definitely very intelligent and hard working person oh. with your sdrship uh, in your first attempt when you were eligible for the post you have cleared the exam many congratulations on this and uh, i'm really very proud of uh, being of any help to you for clearing thank this thank you exam. thank you so much uh, thanks for this interview we'll definitely stay in touch thank you thank you so much ma'am for having thank you